What up? It's Kristen. Welcome back to another video. If you're brand new to my channel, then make sure to subscribe. I'm super stoked you're watching this video. If you've clicked on the title, you're probably wondering, what is Nooch? What is this shit people keep talking about and I keep seeing in vegan recipes and... I made a video like this about tahini and people loved it. They're like, thank you so much for explaining it and how to use it. And I've been wanting to make one on Nooch for a while. I'll probably do a little series of like specific ingredients that are used a lot in vegan cooking that seem a little bit different or people are unfamiliar with. So today we're going to be talking about nutritional yeast, aka Nooch, aka Cheeto dust. I've never called it that, but I've seen people call it that. It's a vegan's best friend. I love it. Certain people don't love it, but the majority of vegans absolutely love it. Use it on so many dishes, sprinkle it on things. So today we're going to be talking about what nutritional yeast is, what it tastes like. I'm also going to be doing like a little nutritional breakdown slash health benefits, aka why you should use it. So we'll talk about that in a little bit too. There are so many health benefits by the way. And I'll also talk a little bit about where to find it and how to use it because a lot of people buy it for a specific recipe and then they're like, I don't know how to use this. I don't know what this is for. I got you covered. So like I said, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and let's just get right into the video. So first of all, what is Nooch? The question everybody's wondering, what is this shit? Especially if you just went vegan and you just keep hearing people talking about Nooch, nutritional yeast. When I first went vegan, I was like, that sounds gross yeast if I, I don't want that then i tried it and now i love it <laughs> i pretty much put it in everything so what is it it's a food additive made from a single celled organism i'm gonna butcher the name i have my computer right here so let me try to read it saccharomyces cerevisiae so it's made from this single celled organism called and it's typically grown or cultured on molasses or beet sugar because the primary ingredient in its growth is glucose. So beet sugar or molasses is typically what it's grown on. And then when the yeast is ready to be harvested, they wash it and dry it with heat so that it stops growing. And then after that, after it's like deactivated, then they crumble it, put it in flake or powder form and package it up and sell it. And I know what you're thinking, deactivate, it sounds like it's alive. A lot of people think yeast is alive, but don't worry, no animals were harmed in the process because yeasts are part of the fungi family, just like mushrooms, so good to go for vegans. And it's yellow in color and it tastes fucking delicious. So let me go grab mine so I can show you what it looks like. So we just keep ours in this little cur jar and refill it as it gets low. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Can you guys see that? It's yellow, It's we get the flakes, not the powder. So this is nutritional yeast flakes. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, pretty straightforward, yellow, flaky or powdery. Again, I like the flakes better than the powder, but it totally depends on what you prefer. Okay, so now that we know what nutritional yeast actually is, let's talk about what it tastes like. So the first thing that comes to mind is cheesy. It's also nutty and tangy and savory. It's got a lot of that like umami characteristic, so it's not a sweet thing. It's definitely savory. I think my mom, when she first tried it, was like, I got nutritional yeast and I sprinkled it on my cereal or I put it in a smoothie. I think it was cereal and she was like, I don't think that's what you're supposed to do with it. It wasn't very good. I was like, no, you don't want to do that. So don't put it in sweet dishes. It's savory. It's got that umami. It's cheesy, nutty, tangy, creamy. Oh, it's so good. It just adds so much good flavor to your dishes. And you don't need a ton of it. Even like a tablespoon or two to certain dishes will add a lot of delicious flavor. And it has a really good texture too. It's really good for kind of like thickening up sauces. So sometimes I'll make a dressing and it'll be a little too thin and I'll add some extra nutritional yeast and it gives it a nice texture or add it into marinara sauces, gives it almost like a creaminess. So it has a really good Good texture when you add it to dishes too. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the nutritional benefits of nutritional yeast because it's way more nutritionally beneficial than you probably even realize. So nutritional yeast, Nooch, is completely packed with nutrition, hence the name nutritional yeast. <laughs> so it's actually called that because it is so rich in nutrients. It is a significant source of some B-complex vitamins and some other vitamins and minerals as well like folic acid, selenium, and zinc. And sometimes it is fortified with vitamin B12 which we all know that vegans need to be making sure they're getting 
Everybody needs to be making sure they're getting it. Our soil is not the same as it used to be, so the B12 levels have definitely gotten a little lower. So it's a good way to get in your B12. Not all brands fortify their nutritional yeast with B12, so you need to make sure that the brand you're using is fortified. I get mine in bulk, and I just called, um, my mom called, <laughs> and asked if it was fortified, and they said yes, the brand they use is. So you can easily find that out by asking or looking on the back of the label of whatever package that you get. And just in case you're wondering, about two tablespoons of fortified nutritional yeast has more than 330% of your recommended daily value of B12. So it's a really good way to get in your B12 and it tastes fucking good too, so why not? So on average, depending on the brand, nutritional yeast has, per two tablespoons, has about 60 calories, two grams of carbs, a little bit more than a half a gram of fat, and around nine grams of protein, which is more than a large egg. So don't have to harm any animals to get your protein, we all know this by now, but nutritional yeast is a really good way to get in some extra protein and flavor. And it's not only is it a good source of protein, it's a good source of complete protein, meaning it contains all nine essential amino acids that your body can't make. It's also high in fiber. It's got about 16% of your daily value. Fiber is really good at keeping your digestive system going and making you feel full for longer. So added fiber is always a bonus. And some other little like health benefits are that there are no added preservatives. There's no added sugars. There's very little sodium or fat. It's gluten-free, it's soy-free, and it's not the kind of yeast that is gonna like aggravate candida. You associate yeast with like yeast infections or candida symptoms, but it's not the kind of yeast that's gonna activate that. In fact, there's been set up several studies that show that it can actually help with candida-like symptoms. And like I keep saying, another benefit is that it adds lots of flavor to your dishes. <laughs> Okay, so now that we know why you should be using this, let's talk about where to find it. Because a lot of times people are like, I've heard about it, I don't know where to find it, I just help me. So, let's talk about that. So, you might not be able to find it at your normal grocery store, like Walmart, Albertsons, Target, although more and more of those stores are starting to carry it because they realize people are gonna buy it but you might not be able to find it there. The best place to look is if you have like a natural food store or something similar that has bulk bins. Usually places like that will have it in bulk bins. I get mine at our local Winco store in the bulk bins, but I think Fred Meyer has it and our co-op has it. So check in the bulk bins if you're not finding it. And you can always ask an employee at a store. Just, hey, do you guys have nutritional yeast? Where can I find it? And then that way they'll know that more people are looking for it and they might end up stocking it on their shelves. If you have a Trader Joe's, they started carrying it maybe like a year ago and they sell it in little four ounce bags for $3 and it's in the like baking and spice section. So if you have a Trader Joe's, go check that out. Um, it's actually a pretty good deal for how much you're getting. So if you have a Trader Joe's, they have it. It also sometimes might be in the supplement section. I've seen it in the supplement section sometimes too, like marketed as like a supplement. It's still in the powder form or the flake form or whatever, but it's in the supplements and not in the, like the food section. So it could be there too if you're not seeing it. But kind of one of your best bets if you're really struggling and you can't find it in your area and you've called your grocery stores and literally no one has it, you can buy it online. So I'll leave a link below for one of my favorite brands and you guys can go grab that if you're having trouble finding it in your area or you just like online shopping like I do. <laughs> and like I said earlier, you can get it in flakes or powder form. I like the flakes better, I've had both. The powder is usually super powdery and the flakes just kind of mix into stuff. They melt anyway, they kind of like disintegrate at least. So it's not like you have flakes in your final product, but I just like the flakes better for some reason. And they can vary in taste sometimes too. So make sure to experiment with brands if you try one and you're like, this is gross. Maybe try a different brand. It, it just kind of depends on the brand. So uh, they're all pretty similar in taste, but some of them are definitely better than others. So do a little research if you're a little off put by it at first and want to keep trying it. And you want to make sure that you don't get brewer's yeast because it looks really similar and it's not the same thing at all. Like you will be pissed if you get brewer's yeast and try to put it in this. So don't get brewer's yeast, that's for making beer. Get nutritional yeast, it's different, but they look the same, similar at least. And it's definitely not the same as baker's yeast. So the kind that you use in like bread and all that stuff, it's not that. 
don't, it's not that. So just don't, don't use that. It's completely different. Um, it's still a yeast, but it's, it's a different kind. And if you live in Australia or New Zealand and you're not finding nutritional yeast anywhere in their stores, it sometimes is called savory yeast there or savory yeast flakes. So keep an eye out for those or you can ask someone who works at a store if they have savory yeast or savory yeast flakes and they might know what you're talking about then. Okay. Let's get into the most exciting part, how to use it, because there's so many uses and I literally use this almost, I do use it every single day. If I'm eating something savory and I'm cooking at home, nutritional yeast is probably going in there. So whether you're vegan, you're vegetarian, you're none of the above, it's just a really good flavor enhancer in most savory dishes. I even keep mine like right next to the salt and pepper on my countertop because that's how often I use it in my food. <laughs> which is a lot. Okay, so some of my favorite ways to use it, and I asked in my How to Vegan Facebook group, hey, what are some of your favorite ways to use nutritional yeast? So if you're wanting even more inspiration and ideas, then go join my How to Vegan Facebook group, type nutritional yeast in the search bar, and that post will pop up and you can scroll through people's answers because people get creative with it. There's so many ways to use it. So. One of my favorite ways to use it is on avocado toast. Make your avocado toast, sprinkle that nooch on top. Ooh, girl, so good. You can also use it on garlic bread because it kind of tastes like Parmesan. So if you were to rub some bread with some garlic and maybe some vegan butter and then sprinkle that on, oh, so good, so good. Most vegan mac and cheese recipes will have nutritional yeast in it. I have a really good mac and cheese recipe on my YouTube channel, so I will put that in the cards up here and I'll link it down below. And it's made with cashews and then the nutritional yeast is added for that cheesy, umami, delicious flavor. So you'll see it in most mac and cheese recipes. Tofu scrambles. I don't really like tofu scrambles if they don't have nutritional yeast in them. Something about it just gives it like this eggy, deliciousness and the texture is enhanced when you use it. So tofu scrambles, if you've been making them without nutritional yeast, start putting a little bit in there because, oh, it's so good. A really, really popular use for nutritional yeast is on freshly popped popcorn. So some people, you know, add a little vegan butter or some avocado oil or whatever you wanna use that way. And then sprinkle a little bit of nutritional yeast on there and salt. It's so good, it's like cheesy popcorn. I don't usually use butter or oil. I like plain popcorn, but Sometimes I'll put a little nutritional yeast and salt on there and it's quite tasty. I would say that's probably one of the most popular uses for nutritional yeast is on um, popcorn. It's really good in soups and stews. I put it in literally every soup or stew or chili. I mean, anything that I make that's savory and like a soup or a stew, I put it in there because it gives it a good creamy texture and gives it really good flavor. I put it in my curry dishes. So if I'm making curry, pop it on in there. One of my favorite uses is in salad dressing. I make a really simple salad dressing out of tahini and warm water and garlic and lemon juice. And then I always add a little nutritional yeast in there. Oh, so good, so good. So salad dressings, like I always put it in there if I'm making a vegan ranch or a vegan Caesar, pretty much any salad dressing, you're gonna see me putting a little bit of nutritional yeast in there. Pasta sauces. Oh, so good in pasta sauces, like a marinara sauce, sprinkle some in there. It kind of gives it like that good, just delicious, creamy, thick mm, texture. Mm, I love it. It's really good on top of spaghetti or pizza because like I said, it tastes like Parmesan kind of. And I even make a Parmesan cheese out of it. I should, I don't know why I haven't done a video on my YouTube channel about that yet, but I make a really good cashew Parmesan cheese and Nutritional yeast is pretty much the star. So if you don't wanna make the parm, you can still sprinkle it on top. It's really, really good that way. If you're making pesto, you can add it into there instead of using Parmesan. Like most pestos have Parmesan in them. And if you don't wanna eat any dairy and you still want that cheesy flavor, add some nutritional yeast. I also add it to like mashed potatoes, sprinkle it on top of baked potatoes. Anytime I'm making roasted veggies, pretty much no matter what it is, I add some nutritional yeast when I'm tossing it. And it just gives this delicious kind of like crunchiness almost on the outside and then the flavor is out of this world. So always put it on my roasted veggies, potatoes, Brussels sprouts, literally anytime I roast veggies. And you should too, it's really good. Try it if you haven't. And then I usually always sprinkle it on top of my salads, even if it's already in the salad dressing. I sprinkle it on top of like my burrito bowls to give it a little like cheesiness and stir it all in there. I literally put it on pretty much every savory dish I make on or in. As you can probably tell, the uses are limitless and just experiment and find what works for you and what you like it in and what you don't like it in. I love it. So I put it in 
a lot of things, most things that are savory. <laughs> so have you tried nutritional yeast? What do you like to do with it? What's your favorite way to use it? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm super curious. I love trying out new recipes and new ways of using specific food items. So let me know in the comments like what your suggestions are for it. If I didn't mention it, I would love to know how you use it, if you like it, what your thoughts are on it. Let me know down in the comments. Oh, and make sure to share this video with anybody that you think might need it. If one of your friends or family members just went vegan, they might be wondering what is nutritional yeast, hit that little share button and just share this video with anyone that you think might, might enjoy it, might find it beneficial because when I first went vegan, I would have loved <laughs> to have this video kind of just walking me through it, how to use it. I would have gotten the benefits from it much earlier. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really, really hope it was helpful for you. I've been wanting to make this video for about a year, so finally doing it. Um, but yeah, I hope it's really helpful. If you guys like this idea of like a little kind of series of what is this product or what is this food item? Like I said, I did one on tahini. This one's on nutritional yeast. If there's anything else that you want me to kind of cover, talk about what it is, its benefits, how to use it, anything like that, let me know in the comments below. I was thinking of maybe doing one on like spirulina and I can't remember what else, but if you have any ideas for this series and there's a certain specific something that you're wanting to know more about, then let me know down below too and I will make a video for you. If you're new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe, hit that little thumbs up button if you liked it. And if you want to make sure that you're getting notifications every time I post a new video, next to the subscribe button, there's a little bell, click that, you'll get notified every time I post a new video. So thanks again for watching and I'll just catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.